Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying and I will be doing a reading for you today. It's going to be a general reading. Whatever comes out is the message for you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I've gone ahead and smoked my decks. I've anointed my wrists and we are ready to go. And I'm just going to shuffle this in the Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? One, two, three. And I will be clarifying with um, my other zero Marchetti decks, okay? He's done the Kipper decks. He's done... What am I using now? The Gilded Tarot. I have other decks of his too. Um, and if I have the, if it, depending on the reading, I might use the Romance Angels, okay? All right, let's get into this. All right, my hair is being a little funky today. Okay. For Scorpio, please. All right. We have the Two of Pentacles here for my Scorpio. So. You might be deciding something, okay? Um, you might feel a little out, you may have felt a little unbalanced, but this guy seems to have his, is getting it together and he has his uh, two feet planted solidly on this, on this stone, okay? Yeah, that water looks a little turbulent. Okay, so let's see. One more Scorpio. Okay, this is why. <laughs> this is the 10 of 1 energy that is carrying a lot of responsibilities. Okay, you might. Be carrying them for yourself but usually you're carrying them for other people as well you know this could be you know um like i said all sorts of responsibilities you're carrying right now and it's weighing heavy on you and um you might be deciding to drop a few of these burdens and lighten the load okay For Scorpio, okay, so we have this beautiful card, the star card, okay, this is a card of healing, this is Um, a card of letting something shine, okay? Letting your light shine or not being able to let your light shine because you're carrying a lot of burdens right now. And um, it's kind of making you a little unstable, but you're in the process of healing this right now for yourself. And the way you're going to do that is by dropping a few of these wands, okay? It's like, I feel like you've carried them long enough. It's time to let something go. It's only going to benefit you. in a really good way. Like something needs to be cleaned out. Somebody needs to, you know. Okay, for Scorpio, please. You might be required to um, take a spiritual bath or a spiritual shower, okay? To help yourself rebalance. Because something might be attached to you, okay? 
for Scorpio, please. Okay. Four swords here for Scorpio. So you might have to take a little break. You might need to get a little rest. A little rest and rejuvenation. I think whatever is burdening you, um, you're not sleeping right at night. And the body heals itself when it's in its restful state, okay? When you're sleeping, that's when you heal your body. And I'm seeing more purple. And purple is the color of the Heavenly Father for me. So the last thing he was wearing, the last color he was wearing before he was crucified, okay? Ooh. All right, Scorpio. Expect to turn around out of this energy, okay? Or we need to get out of this energy, okay? We got to turn things around here. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. So something's about to change. That's good. You're rebalancing yourself. And maybe you're going to, once you decide to drop what you need to drop, this Wheel of Fortune comes in for you. This, this positive change comes in for the Scorpio. Yep, here it is. Look at it. She, she's laying in a bed. She has a blanket and pillows and everything else. But she's up at night. She's scared of something. She's worried. She's panicking. These are the Nine of Swords. This is a bunch of information. These are your thoughts. Okay? And you're being burdened by these things. Okay? They're holding you down. You're not getting the rest that you need. Like I said, okay, I try to, uh, I know I said something was like attached to you, Scorpio. There's this other little ghostly thing hovering over you. If you can see that. I mean, in this card, some you might say it's your higher self, um, but it's something spiritual with the window being open and this owl right there at the window, okay? But I'm seeing the owl more so as a protector. And then whatever this... They say a poltergeist is manifested it's not a ghost okay but it's like all your anxiety that m manifests into something that's what a poltergeist is it's not a it's not an actual spirit it's not an actual ghost but it's all this anxiety and all this like anxious energy that you're exuding it, it, it like you, you it's it's radiating from you okay and it might be manifesting itself in your home or while you're sleeping or this might be a night terror okay For my Scorpio. If you could get your hands on some holy water, I would suggest that and anoint your home. You need to sage your home. You need to sage your bedroom. You need to sage underneath your bed in your closet, okay?
for Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please. Temperance. So you definitely have someone in your spirit team watching over you. Um, you may have had gone, you know, you may have had a traumatic experience or something that is putting you in, in this energy and you're in the process of healing. It's like a traumatic experience that, you know, you just don't heal uh, over night. Okay. It takes a little time. But as you can see, these two cards are very, very similar, okay? She's pouring, and she's pouring. Or she, or she has two cups that she's going to mix together, maybe a healing concoction or something. And then um, like pouring out the old water or pouring out whatever was ailing you, okay? And pouring in with something new and healing. Something also about in due time. I just feel like something is going on when you're sleeping, okay? And I'm feeling like night terrors. And it's making you not even want to go to sleep. So you keep yourself awake. Okay. We have the lovers here. <laughs> That's positive, okay? You could be, or you could be like, you know, fussing yourself over a love relationship or something like that. But it's kind of not what I'm feeling about the card. Um, see the lovers. You might have a choice in love, Scorpio. Um, but in this card... You see, he's with this person, okay? But he's about to drop her. And he's about to go. He's looking at somebody else. That's really his match here. Maybe that's the decision with this two of pentacles here. And you, maybe you don't know how to break the news to this person. Or this is what's happening to you and you're worried sick about it that somebody might choose someone else over you and that would, you just can't deal with that right now. More for my Scorpio, please. Okay. And for some reason, I mean, all my cards are usually upright, but this is in the reverse, and I'm going to take it, okay? This is the Five of Pentacles, and this is feeling left out, feeling excluded. Okay. This is maybe trying to reach out for help and you were refused. But I'm seeing that this energy is no longer going to pertain to you. You may have taken something personally um, because of your, just your state of mind that you're in, okay? Okay. 
for my Scorpio, please. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> so after you get your rest and rejuvenation, maybe do a, a spiritual bath, a little cleansing, or you need to have a little fun, okay? You need to lighten it up a little bit. You know, this Knight of Wands, he has his fun, okay? He gets out there and he has... He has a little fun for himself. He goes out and then, you know, lets his hair down a little bit, lets her hair down a little bit, and then comes back to the responsibility, okay? But this is like a Saturday night out or something like that. You have to, okay? With this energy I'm seeing on the board, you have to let a little fun in your life, okay? It's like you're taking something so seriously. Okay, for Scorpio, please. Okay, and we have a page of cups here for the Scorpio. And this is... Um, energy of the Scorpio, the water energy. Um, I'm seeing like a fresh start. Something is in its beginning phases, okay? You might feel a little vulnerable right now, Scorpio, with all these energies I'm seeing on the board. Okay, this is a child or a younger person that, um, or this, you know, an adult person that just feels a little vulnerable right now because they've been feeling like they've, they're being attacked and it's really been weighing heavy on you. Okay, there's definitely a, a healing and a cleanse and some rest that needs to take place. You need to lighten it up. You need to lighten it up, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and do a few little oracles, okay? And I really like this deck because it's nice and big and colorful. And it has a nice little message on each one of the cards, okay? All right. Let me a few messages for my Scorpio, please. The snake wanted to come out, okay? So the snake for me... Um, you know, I don't know if, I mean, it represents, sometimes it represents illness, but it also represents intuition. Um, it says your intuition, <laughs> your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Okay, so like I was feeling like there's something, there might be a little something in your energy field, all right, that's creating blockages for you, kind of making you feel a little unstable. This is anxiety and panic attacks, okay? This, these are night terrors. You know, the snake also represents our health, you know, because there's that symbol around the medical. This is part of the medical symbol. All right, for a Scorpio, please. What are we at? 19 minutes. Okay. Whoop. What did I say? Like blockages and stuff like that. The mountain is here. 
No, you are protected. I know I said that as you face challenges, but remain cautious again. So you have be careful with the snake and it says remain cautious with the mountain. I know them rattlesnakes. You find those rattlesnakes in the mountains, okay? So watch, watch where you put your hands, okay? You might get, you might get bit. I mean, not physically, but metaphorically. Whoop. Sorry. That was the two, okay, the two cards that almost wanted to come out, but I didn't feel like they... It was the devil in the coffin card. So maybe this evil energy is going right back where it came from. But um, you need to protect yourself. You need to do, like I said, a spiritual bath. Keep connected to your higher source, okay? And you gotta um, stay strong and pray against these energies. Because if you are intuitive, okay, like this says, you're intuitive. <laughs> and healing powers will guide you. Um, you know that these energies come with the territory, okay? And um, the more you elevate in your spirituality, the bigger the snake that comes for you, okay? So be mindful. One more for Scorpio, please. All right. This is not too bad to end on, okay? Goals. Keep focused on your goals. It says, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Where is that one card? The card that had all the burdens on it. <laughs> like I said, these burdens are many different things, okay? And I bet you a couple of them for you are... Maybe your career and finances. But um, I see something really positive. I mean, this, these are coins that are kind of raining down. So I see that your money is going to start looking really good once you're able to really get the rest and healing <laughs> that you need. You'll be able to even go, you know, make even a bigger effort okay and I'm not saying that you're not making the effort I'm saying that um, your effort might be a little diluted because of what you're going through okay and whatever what however you're going to fix what's causing this it's only going to be beneficial for you because you'll be able to focus on more of the things that matter okay and I'll do one more for this lovers card because it just seems odd with like you have all these cards and then the lovers came out and I know I said something really quickly about that but clarify this lovers card for Scorpio please since it's on the board Wow. <laughs> Proposal. Wow. Okay. So maybe this is just a story for another day. Okay. Once all this energy is out the door, we can start talking about this energy, this wonderful energy that's coming in for my Scorpio. Okay. This is finding your match, Scorpio. This is a union. 
Okay, that's the eight. That's the soul tie. And maybe you have to drop one for the other. Okay. All right, we're going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Until next time, baby dolls. Ciao.